Hey guys, sorry I look a little disheveled right now. I just woke up from a nap and I definitely wasn't expecting to film a video today, but I forgot that the owl crates had shipped yesterday and since they ship from Washington, it only takes me like a day to get mine. So I have it right here and I'm ready to do an unboxing for it. I have only cut the tape, and this month I did remember to cut all of the tape, so, you know, we're learning. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. It's so pretty. Oh yeah, the theme this month for Owlcrate is Parallel Worlds. This is what I see when I first um, open the box here. I like the, the note thing today, it has like planetary stuff on it. I'm not going to look at the back because I know now that that contains spoilers. Um, but that's really cute. I like it. So, let's dive right in. The first thing that I see here um, is a little notebook it looks like with an E.E. E. Cummings quote on it. It says, listen, there's a hell of a good universe next door. Let's go. It's got a little, little planetary design on it. Um, this is from the company Obvious State. Uh, they make art prints, paper goods, totes and tees, buy bibliophiles for bibli bibliophiles. From Wolf to Wild, Homer to Hemingway, we've got your favorite authors covered. That's cute. I like it. I'll have to check them out. I love art prints, as you saw if you saw my Emerald City Comic Con haul. So that looks super cute. I don't... I don't know if it's like lined or unlined. Let's check it out. Oh, actually, open it. It's got like a cardboardy sort of like you know fancy cardboard reclaimed things. Okay, so it is lined. Um, yeah, it's just a little little notebook I stapled together. It's really cute. I like it. I love little notebooks. I use them for to do lists and like being fancy and thinking that I have adult things that I need to write down to remember. You know, what else? Um, the next thing I see, I don't know what this is. Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. Heat sensitive hyper color. So I guess it's like, um, hot and cold change colors. Knead it, snap it, bounce it, pop it, stretch it. So it's like, you know, putty, I guess you can manipulate it with your hands, like help you think if you're a tactile processor, things like that. Ooh, over 40 awesome colors and all. I wonder what color I got. I think it says on the thing. Oh, Twilight. Twilight is blue and purple color changey. Ooh, that looks cool. I used to have a whole bunch of things of putty when I was a kid, but they always dried out. So maybe this will actually, you know, never dry out like it says. I like, I like keeping my hands dirty. You know, like when you're making dough or whatever for baking, I always like to get in there and get to it. Okay, next thing, and I think this is the last thing before um, the book is Geek Tap Temporary Tattoos um, by Smash Tat, I think is the name of the company. Um, these are Alice in Wonderland themed, obviously. It has Alice and the Flamingo Croquet Mallet Bro, uh, the Mad Hatter, Tweedledum and Tweedledee, and then we're all mad here. And that is backwards, because when you slap it on your body, then it'll come out the right way around. That's very smart, they thought about that. I, knowing me, I probably wouldn't have considered that. Um, this is, funnily enough, also a throwback to my childhood. Um, I used to really like temporary tattoos. Uh, you might be able to tell through the fact that I now have four real-life tattoos. <laughs> Can't get glittery tattoos in real life, though. Still working out that. Kinda sad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, that's really cute. I I 
like temporary tattoos they're kind of fun you know changeable little things i might try one out pretty soon to see how how will they stick and funnily enough alice Merlin is currently sitting on my bedroom floor waiting to be read so that's really appropriate that's really cute i might have to check out what other kinds of tattoos they make all right and then the last thing i think is now the book so let's jump in oh my gosh it like perfectly fits in the box so i'm having a lot of trouble removing it okay Ooh, it comes with another signed book plate and bookmark let's see it's blurred by neil gaiman so that's really good it has an insanely pretty cover it's like the the cover of the something incredible, something or other, Ava Lavender, but prettier. Also, yeah. so this is Mag Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. Devana? One of those things. And Neil Gaiman says, Maria Devana Devana Headley is a firecracker. She's whip smart with a heart and she writes like a dream. And it's pretty. <laughs> uh, okay, it's also blurbed. Oh my gosh, this must be really recent because it's blurbed by Victoria Aveyard, author of the number one New York Times bestseller, Red Queen. And then also Django Wexler, author of The Shadow Campaigns in the Forbidden Library, who I have not heard of, but I have heard of both Victoria Aveyard and Neil Gaiman. So let's go to the inside flap and see what this book is about, besides being really, really pretty. Aza Ray is drowning in thin air. Since she was a baby, Aza has suffered from a mysterious lung disease that makes it ever harder for her to breathe, to speak, to live. All the doctors can do is give her drugs and hope they keep her alive. So when Aza catches a glimpse of a ship in the sky, her family chalks it up to a cruel side effect of the medication. But Aza doesn't think this is a hallucination. She can hear someone on the ship calling her name. Only her best friend, Jason, listens. Jason, who's always been there. Jason, for whom she might have more than friendly feelings. Ruh -ruh. Before Aza can consider that thrilling idea, something goes terribly wrong. The sickness catches up with her. Aza is lost to our world, and found by another. Magonia. Above the clouds in the land of trading ships, Aza is not the weak and dying thing she was. In Magonia, she can breathe for the first time. Better, she has immense power. She can use it to change the world. As she navigates her new life, Aza discovers that war is coming. Magonia and Earth are on the cusp of a reckoning. In Aza's hands lies the whole of humanity, including the boy who loves her. Where do her loyalties lie? Maria Devana Headley's soaring YA debut is a fiercely intelligent, multi-layered fantasy, rich with symbolism and steeped in allegory. Aza's journey pulls her deep into the questions of home, of love, of self, and of just what it means to find them all. That sounds cool. I like it. I want to check it out. Um, this kind of sounds, actually reminds me in a weird way. I haven't, okay, I haven't read it yet, so, you know, fire no shots, but um, the book in the last owl crate, everything that makes you about how there's like parallel worlds, there's like two lives for this person to potentially be living and like it's about where they want to settle in those lives and who they want to be and how they're defined by that and things like that. Um, it seems really cool. Oh my god, the cover is so pretty. It also came with a signed book plate and a really cute feather bookmark. It says, my heart is half on earth, half in the clouds. That's cute. That's got little birds on the back. I really like that. 
and no, I'm not gonna stop talking about how dang pretty the cover is because it's so pretty and oh my god, the inside is cute too. It's got the feather bird thing and go in shiny letters. That's super cute, okay. Um, so that's really awesome. I'm really excited for everything that I got. It's, Owl Crate is really, truly, honestly, one of the best, most fun, most exciting subscription boxes that I have ever gotten. Um, and I've, you know, done a fair, fair shoe, a fair few in my day. So that's not to be said lately. Um, the next month's theme for June is diversity, which I believe includes a gay character and suicide trigger. So that's gonna be deep. Um, um, and obviously very impactful, and I'm very excited to get that book, um, get that whole box. I'm interested in how they portray diversity through not just the book, um, but through the items that go along with the book. They're usually so well matched that I would be really curious as to how they pull that through. Um, I believe that box is already sold out. Um, I know it's crazy, but they're so popular for such good reason, obviously, from the fact that, you know, they're always sold out and they're really good product. Um, but there is a waitlist sign up that I can leave the link for below, or you can go to their site, allcreate.com, um, which will set, put you on a waitlist. They'll send out an email when the next I guess it would be July's boxes available if June is already sold out and you can go on and hopefully get one. Alright, so that's everything for this video. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe if you haven't already. I do post unboxings of my All Crate every month and I will continue to get it every month because I love it. I also post other unboxings. I am subscribed to the Book Riot YA quarterly box, so I do that once every three months. I post reviews and other videos that are cool and great and just subscribe, please, if that sounds at all interesting to you. If you like books or lifestyle videos, I try to make a nice combination of both, even though it's mainly books right now because I'm boring for the moment. 